Hey guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction for you today. And believe it or not, another Sunday has gotten here. And man, these weeks are just flying by faster and faster. Um, it seems like this summer is going too fast. And I don't know what it's like where you are, but it is scalding hot here in central Pennsylvania. But you know what that means? Appropriate for the hotness, um, it's time for more Love Bites. Um, I have two reactions for you all today. Um, the first one we're checking out is Scream For Me. Um, and this one's been on my list for a very, very long time. Um, so it's about time we check it out. Uh, we'll be reacting to the Awake Again Live From The Abyss session. And we have reacted to one other song from this show. Um, I believe it was Burden of Time. So I'm pretty excited to get back to it again. Uh, let's go. If you have a request and want it pushed to the front of the line, or you'd like early access to videos and other exclusive content, join us on Buy Me A Coffee and help support the channel. Simply click the link in the description below and find everything we have to offer. Regardless of what you choose, your support is always appreciated. Finally, don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and leaving any suggestions in the comment section below. All of that helps our channel grow. Um, ultimately, that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, getting closer and closer to that 3,000 subscriber mark. Let's go. Uh, let's get to the video. As always, the link will be in the description below. Very, very cool intro. Spinning the stars. Oh yeah! <laughs> God damn! That was an awesome intro. Uh, awesome enough that I think I want to listen to it again. Everything from Miho's awesome bass intro uh haruna's amazing fills in there uh that guitar so solo just that sweep picking or pick sweeping whatever it's called uh wow that was freaking amazing that's a way to intro a song all right let's just let's just start that over again so happy That's just so down and dirty, too. going on there, Aruna. Yeah, we'll start that chorus again. The only, again, the only thing I have an issue with this concert, and it's not a, it's so minuscule, um, is that I, I wish Asami's 
mix was higher in the mix. That's you know, I remember I said that in the last one time we watched um, something from this show. I just wish that it was a little bit higher in the mix. The song is fan. The song is fantastic. It's freaking fire. Uh, I'm loving it. They they're so energetic, and it's again fun to see them not in their white goddess dresses and just more in you know regular old street clothes. That looks like uh, a Metallica shirt that Miho is wearing, so that's even better. Uh, but yeah, man, great energy, great song, enjoying it. Uh, they're just they're just n hitting this one out of the park. <laughs> All right, well, you know, we got to we got to let Midori shine. Here we go. Plus this note. That was clean. Those little bursts, little double bass bursts. I love this. I love this change in this chorus with that with that drum beat where it goes to like uh, an off beat an off time on the hi hat. I love that change. It makes the song feel so different and amazing. One of the things I love about this is even though they are not playing to an audience, a live audience, at this moment in this in this show, they are still energetic as hell. Um, and that says a lot to say about their, you know, just their, their personas and uh, the fact of what they do. Uh, there's a lot of bands that when they do this, they just, you know, they just phone it in. They're playing. They're not, there's no one for them to react off of. And, yeah, they don't have anyone physically to react off of, but they are not just phoning this in. Uh, this, is a, this is a great version of the song. I mean, that's the only version I've heard. But uh, this is a great a great way to do this. I love it. All right. She is nailing that note. Oh, that is a cool part. Oh, uh -oh here we go. When they do that, 
Yeah, I mean, I love when I mean, Midori's solo was freaking insane. And then I love when anyone comes in and does a solo where they incorporate part of the uh, the melody into the actual solo. It ties the whole thing in together. And Miyako does it. Does it fantastically here. So, you know how we do it. We're going to hear it again. That's, that's such an awesome fill, too. Chunkiness. my god now i i try not to swear so much uh in these you know in the last couple of months i it slips out every now and then but holy fucking shit that ending was epic the when we know they're they do the back and forth better than anyone in the business, and that back and forth was fan fucking tastic. That tapping with the with the whammy bar, holy crap! That was I don't think I've ever heard that knowingly before, but that, we're, we're yeah, we just gotta watch it again. Oh, that's so chunky.
cool. Holy crap, guys. That is a way to end it. Holy crap. Let's talk. I don't even know if there's anything left I can say about this. That was, I mean, they started it off with guitar solo. And they ended with that epic back and forth. Holy crap, that was so good. Uh, the song itself was amazing. Um, Asami's vocals, holy crap, were they on point. I mean, she's always really good anyway. But she nailed those high notes, and that was, that was awesome. Everyone was just having so much fun in this song. Uh, I'm a f I have a feeling they're just having fun in general in this show, and I'm excited to get through some more of this particular show because it looks really, really fun. Uh, I mean, Haruna was smiling up at the cameras, making sure she was getting her, her uh, nice little smiles in there up at some of the camera shots. They were just... Asami was having a freaking blast dancing around while she's singing and while they're playing. Just freaking insane some of the best in the business right now absolutely without a doubt there is no doubt about that i don't got anything else to say watch it yourself you can have your own reaction it's freaking amazing so we're gonna leave this video right here don't forget that i also stream um stop by if you see me online uh we can chat remember we will be doing more uh, live streams over on Twitch, uh, concert reactions, reviews, stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, um, definitely make sure you're following me. We have some Love Bites concerts, um, Fan Made, The Warning, all kinds of different people, Nemophila, all kinds of different bands that I have set up on the agenda, ready to go as I get time to do these live streams. Um, I'm going to be putting together a more of a static schedule so that you know when we'll be doing something at least. But yeah, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're following me on, on Twitch. Uh, links to all my social media is in the description below. So if you want to follow me on any of the platforms, that's awesome uh, as well. We do have a Discord set up. We have all kinds of channels in there for anyone to talk about different bands that we react to in general gaming, anything you want. Whole bunch of stuff set up in there for you all. Uh, don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll where you guys decide to tell, decide what I react to every single Friday. Very simple. Just go to the community tab, find the poll, vote for the band. Whoever wins, that's where I react to. Um, also, make sure, get your requests in on Buy Me A Coffee. Um, if that's something you're interested in, you want to push to the line, front of the line, like I said, uh, go over to Buy Me A Coffee. Make sure you put your request in over there. Our requests will go into the next available slot I keep it set aside for those days. Um, Anyway, with that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you all next time.